Our agenda for this week's sprint is jam-packed, exciting, very much real-time, very much relevant, and leading edge. Probably one of the most exciting sprints that we have all semester long. So I want to show you what we're going to do because, as usual, I'm recording this as the very last video so I can show you what we do, and then we'll walk the scrum board. First of all, one exciting thing is take a look at our specimen screen. You see we currently have purple saxifrage posted. Now I can change this to feather reed grass, and what you'll notice is that there's a recycler view down here that's showing events that occur on this feather reed grass. And also you notice that the UI has updated. I can come back here and I can choose purple saxifrage, and you notice that uh, we have our purple saxifrage and we have some events with that as well. I come up and choose Austrian pine and events again with this. So some exciting things that we're doing. And one other neat thing is that in this learning module, we're actually updating existing specimens in addition to adding new specimens. Uh, I'm going to go to the event screen and you'll notice that I can add events for a specimen. I can say something like water quantity 10 units gallons, event date, give it a date like so. No, give that an actual year. Description, it is thirsty. I can add a photo. So this we're going to do in this sprint, we're going to do a bit of refactoring to uh, save some logic instead of duplicating logic, which will be pretty fun, so doing some good reuse. Then I can hit save, and you'll notice that it's actually going to update a recycler view down here as well. So a whole lot of neat things. Let's take a look at what we're going to work we're going to refactor and create a common diary fragment superclass of the two fragments that we already have, that is specimen and event. We're going to pull functions from diary, uh, up to diary fragment from our existing main fragment so that we can reuse these functions across multiple fragments without duplicating. We'll add take a photo to the event screen, to the event fragment. We will add a local photo URI attribute to our events so that we can save the location where the photo was stored. We're going to add some new image buttons that are going to allow our fragments to call functions up in the activity. And specifically, those functions are the ones that swap the fragments on our UI. We'll create a recycler view, which is where we can scroll through some local data on our events fragment. We're going to store events to a new Firebase Cloud Firestore collection. Remember, we have documents and collections that alternate in Firebase Cloud Firestore. We're going to add another recycler view to our specimen screen. This one is going to be based on model view view model and observing live data, which is really neat. So as we get changes to our live data, we're going to update that recycler view. Make the specimen spinner selectable. The spinner is the thing at the top that shows all the specimens we've saved so far. So we'll make it selectable and then we'll update the user interface based on which specimen was selected. We're going to lazy load events for specimens. So we're going to load the specimens without the events. We're only going to load the events for a specimen when that specimen is selected. Update This one I mentioned earlier, update our recycler view using observable live data and view model and then add the capability to update specimens as well as save specimens. So quite a bit going on. Now, I wasn't able to link all of these to the uh, pull request. It started getting a little fuzzy when I hit 10. So I'll show you, see if I can pull a recent one and show you what I mean here. We'll get uh, update capability to save for specimens. When I came down here to link pull request, for some reason they started to gray out. I don't know if there's a limit of 10 or whatever. Nonetheless, I have all the changes. I'm going to go ahead and merge the pull request into our master branch. Confirm merge. And by the way, all the work that I'm doing in this, uh, in this lecture series is in a branch called Recycler View and Superclass Fragments. So uh, several changes there. It looks like about, uh, let's see, about six commits that are happening there. And I've just merged them into master. Nonetheless, I encourage you to take a look just at that branch if you want to see just the relevant changes that have occurred. OK, let's go back to our project. And we see that all of the ones have moved over to done, except for the two I wasn't able to link for any reason. So there we go. That's our sprint this week. Definitely a great sprint, a lot of good material. Can't wait to get started. Thank you.